10 of the Dark Order team up to take on Private Party and the Acclaimed. This is an eight-man tag team match set for a one fall with a 20-minute time limit. Introducing first with it, Julia Hart at a combined weight of 453 pounds, the Varsity Blondes. Joining them at a combined weight of 415 pounds, Allen Five Angels and Dark Order number 10. What a quartet this is. Griff Garrison, Brian Pillman Jr., five and 10. Yeah, this is definitely a unique deal right here with these four athletes. Four athletes that look to complement each other extremely well. You got the high octane offense of the Varsity Blondes. You got the strength of 10. And you got the explosivity of Allen Angels. What a great combination this is. And there's the rest of the Dark Order. Your friends. Yeah, they don't like me much. I don't like them much. Oh, it's really a hot little handstand gimmick. Two-time national champion, you know. The cheerleading of this. Oh my God, is that private party? And their opponents first from Brooklyn, New York, at a combined weight of 353 pounds. Private party. Private party. Number four ranked tag team in AEW, and their partners are the number two ranked tag team. A lot of intrigue in this match here tonight. Oh, buddy, here we go. And their partners, the Acclaimed. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Yo! 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 Listen! Yo! The Acclaimed, we always in harmony. Yo, 10, tell five, stop calling me. Yo, blondes, I think you need to talk to me. How are y'all adults and you still on varsity? In Texas, y'all haters, I wanna bounce like your Democrat lawmakers. Yo, and wait a second, Julia, the acclaim got you a present. I guess, I mean, maybe some people do enjoy Italian bread. That's the a bad guy. Have a ride! Well, where I'm from, it's Italian bread. That's what I hear you. A baguette's French. Yes. A French baguette. Yes. Ah, yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah. Okay. okay. Anyway, big eight-man tag team. Tough to segue out of that, buddy. Good luck. Segway Jones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Related to NASCAR Jones and Moonshine Jones. That's why I gave you layout, Jones. <laughs> Sometimes the best thing said is not a... <laughs> oh, buddy. All right, 10. And Isaiah Cassidy. Whoa. Isaiah's got all sorts of gimmicks on the head, the do-rag. He's got the Carolina blue thing hanging from his uh, his uh, backside there. Oh, his pocket. Side headlock. And the Ooh. strength of 10 immediately apparent. He takes down Cassidy with a well-placed shoulder block. Just got to be careful with someone like Isaiah Cassidy. You know, he, he, listen, he's, he's battle tested at a young age. At, at, you know, it's one half of Private Party. We've seen both those men do a lot of really wild things and take a lot of chances. His body can take abuse. And Taz, I mean, you have to remember Private Party in their AEW debuts, they upset the Young Bucks. Or excuse me, in their Dynamite debut, they upset the Young Bucks in the World Tag Team Title Tournament. Could they do it again? Were they to face the Young Bucks for the championship? It could happen. You have that number once, you never know. Oh boy, look at the power of 10. Vertical suplex by 10, but Mark Quinn bringing his partner back down to earth. Good teamwork, good teamwork. Miss Angels, diamond cross body, takes down both members of private party. Well, that's good teamwork also by the Dark Order. And really, you know, any of the, the four component teams in this match. I think Griff was legally tagged in, but then I think he tagged in Pillman. Pillman's legal. Sorry, you were saying that. No, I just pointed those tags out. Great combination there by the Varsity Blondes. Any of the four component teams in this match could pose a huge problem for the Young Bucks and the AEW World Tag Team Championship. You got the Acclaim rank number two, the Blondes number one, Private Party number four. So a winning streak and, and any of these teams could be facing off the Young Bucks sometime soon. Great reception for Brian Pillman Jr. here yeah. in Austin, Texas. Pillman really working on that arm. 
Isaiah Cassidy. Oh, cheap shot coming off the ropes. Pillman, though, overhand shot and ripping the chest. Oh, nice reversal right there. Oh, but Isaiah. Ah, oh. Mark Quinn grabbing the boot of Pillman. Oh, maybe they're going a little silly string here, bro. And the oh, 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 oh. silly string by Private Party. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pillman planted on the top of his head. Isaiah Cassidy. Now the acclaimed want the tag. They weren't weren't so eager before, but now that Pillman is down. Well, Cass is a genius. Those Bowens. Those guys are smart. You're not part of a team called the acclaimed if you're not intelligent. Caster and Bowens shopping. Oh. Brian Pillman Jr. down in the corner. Bowens. Bowens definitely bringing it big time, stopping all over Pillman. The tag out to Mark Quinn. Now it finally seems like the acclaim, the private party, able to work together. Just double sledge across the chest of Pillman. Ooh. Ooh. Good job by Mark Quinn. Like him or not, man, that was he saw an opening and he brought the knee in multiple knees. And those type of knees, I mean, those. Those could be really dangerous for a number of reasons, primarily because they can knock the wind out of you and inhibit your breathing. And you could break a, you know, get a floating rib, break a rib quickly without even knowing it. Wow, that was wild. Look at that. Tremendous combination by Private Party. Hook of the far leg. Just a two count. You see right now what Isaiah's doing, just keeping Pillman, obviously, away from the other three men, his teammates. Smart strategy. And Taz, that's really tough to do in an eight-man match because there's so many people to tag out to and so and people further away from the corner than normally. Well, that was a good way to stop the momentum by Pillman there. That was a good job by Brian. Oh, wow. And a great counterattack by Brian Pillman Jr. Good stuff by Pillman Jr. Way to go there, Brian. Pillman makes the tag out to Griff Garrison. Big Griff. Garrison taking down Caster, taking down Bowens. And now Caster throws the clothesline. Griff with the high boot. Swing and a miss by Bowens. Whoa! Big time back body drop by Griff Garrison. Thanks, Cal. But talk about somebody that was talking about maturation on Dark. How about Griff Garrison, man, from the beginning? He has really come into his own, especially since joining force with Brian Pillman Jr. But 10 massive spine buster. Big power, big spine buster by 10. Oh, God. Here comes Angels now. Allen Angels. Whoa! The high flying offense, the moonsault press. One, two, no! What a match we're getting here. Usually, a lot of times, as you know, Excalibur with an eight man tag, it could get a little hairy and a little wild. This thing has been really, really good. It certainly has, but right now, Isaiah Cassidy, the corkscrew kick just dropped 10. Whoa. Oh, Brett my God. Garrison rolling, oh. elbow strike. Nice Drop kick by Caster and Pillman. Went for the roundhouse kick, but hit the thrust kick. What a shot by Pillman. Watch out, Bowens. Oof. Bowens back elbow, right a chop. Great combination offense from Anthony oh! Bowens. Oh! Wow. The right on the head, dude. Double clothesline. Angels and Bowens taking one another down. This match at something of a stalemate right now. Our live audience here in Austin, Texas, really appreciates the toughness and athleticism by all four men. Eight men, I should say. Yeah, and first and day with my new calculator. <laughs> and, you know, six of the, these eight men have not really wrestled in front of the, the live crowd, the jam-packed crowds, now that we're back on the road. Private party experienced it, but acclaimed Dark Order and the Varsity Blondes haven't, as we see Anthony Bowens. Hold on, Boombox Jones here. Wait, we already got here. The Boombox in hand with Julia Hart. Grabbing the, taking the boombox away from Anthony Bowens. Well, that's not very nice. Hold Good on a minute. Roll up here. Angels, no! Man, he almost crushed the legs of Rick Knox. A lot of fans would have loved that. Whoa! Standing Spanish fly! <laughs> Got him! One, two, no! Again! Man, how did Anthony Bowens kick out of that insane Spanish fly? That was wild, man. 2.99. For Allen Angels, number five of the Dark Order. And Angels, uh, he, he got caught up in the moment the fans were chanting for him. He took a moment to think about it, and that allowed Caster. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, they got it. Chin and shoes from Private Party. Cover him, cover him, cover him. No, I, I don't think Isaiah's legal here. No, but Caster That's with it. the mic drop. He got the tag from Bowens, and he got the pin. Here are your winners, Private 
party and the acclaim. I missed that tag, but you are correct, sir. Even the great ones make mistakes once in a blue moon, but I digress. What a victory by Private Party and the acclaim. Man, that thing could have went either way, my man. What a match. Absolutely either way, but I mean, that is, that is the heads up thinking of a team like the Acclaim, getting the tag. Cut the music! Make it, uh-oh. Now last week, on Twitter and Elevation, I said something about poor innocent Julia and her trip to Paris, and we felt really bad. So bad, dude. So from the bottom of my heart, from the bottom of Max Caster's heart, the Acclaim would love to tell all of you that we don't give a shit. Wow. That wasn't a very good apology, Taz. Well, it depends. Some people are more- We're tired of playing second fiddle to a tag team whose strongest member of the tag team is a cheerleader who loves to be tag teamed. And we're gonna make your lives hell until we get what we want, and that's a shot at the AEW Tag Team titles. Now that's a mic drop.